Hello guys. Uh, sorry for the long delay uh, in video posting. I've uh, been uh, busy selling stuff on eBay, but uh, tonight we're out here gonna do some Dutch oven cooking. We're gonna cook up some pasta primavera. We're at a bug out land of mine that uh, in a few years I plan on parking the tumbleweed tiny house that we get. But uh, in this episode, we're just gonna cook up some pasta primavera in the Dutch oven and we'll show you how we do that. So come on with us and take a look. All right guys, just poured some uh, fluid on the briquettes. So fire's kind of raging a little bit. Doesn't seem to be getting on the grass too much. So we'll just let that burn down. Keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't spread. It's been really rainy around here, so I'm not worried about it spreading. But if it does, got a old fashioned water pump right here that uh, we can douse it out with. So let those burn down and get all white and we'll get on with the video. All right guys, uh, got the fire all down. The coals are whitening up, getting ready to throw the Dutch oven on. This is the ingredients we're working with for the pasta primavera. We got mushrooms, carrots, and what's this? Zucchini. Carrots, zucchini, onions, artichoke heart, uh, some, some Italian pizza. spaghetti sauce, and some diced garlic and oregano tomato chunks. Mm -hmm. We got some, I don't know what kind of pasta it is, I can't read it, but we got some pasta there and cheese it's for a snack so we're gonna get this going and see all right we got the noodles in there where what's this we're dumping in this is a tomato sauce okay. and um, water mixture I'll put all that right. in and then I'm gonna put the traditional prego some of this in here not the whole thing just need to get some of this um, I'm going to mix it up, make sure that all these noodles are saturated. And then I'm going to put the onions. I'm just going to layer the vegetables, the onion and garlic. I got the carrots and the zucchini. All right, I'll stir that up. All right, and then we got artichoke heart. put some of these mushrooms in here. And how long are we gonna let this cook for? About a half an hour. About a half an hour, all right. I got tomatoes, and then I'm gonna just dump the rest of the other tomato sauce on there. Kinda layer that on there nice and good. So after we put the tomato sauce sauce, we're gonna put the lid on there and let it cook for about, about 30. 30 minutes. All right, see you in about Hello guys, we're about halfway through the cooking stage. Just wanted to show you that we do have briquettes on the top and the bottom. It kinda compresses the heat in that Dutch oven and gives it a more uniform heatness. But yeah, I also wanted to mention this little picnic table that Kristen's parents gave us. It folds up pretty compact. I'll show you, maybe do a review on that, but it's pretty nice just to set some stuff on and be able to sit down and eat. But uh, I'll show you once we get our food going here. All right, guys, we're gonna dig into this meal here. Get a closer look. I don't know if you guys can see this. Mmm, pasta primavera. Taste. Mmm, noodles are cooked very good. Really nice Italian taste. I'll tell you what, just what I needed after digging these holes and planting, currently planting some bushes and trees around here so within the next few years they kind of grow up to give some more privacy around this area. But I know I said goodbye last clip, but goodbye. This is the final goodbye. Hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.